This day story of a mum who had cancelled Christmas after finding her son had been stabbed to death in West Croydon. Jermaine's parents told the BBC he was the life and soul of our house. Life crime is only rising on the streets of the UK, but exactly who is responsible for these senseless crimes? Not me, I'm just a single parent. It's hard trying to juggle everything and raise a son. But Patterson, Chamberlain and Reid have demonstrated significant reductions in antisocial behaviour using parent training programmes to develop proper parental skills. As of 2020, there were 2.86 million single parent families in the UK. With unemployment at a high due to inflation and COVID-19, parents are struggling to keep a roof over their heads, feed them and their families and work to maintain healthy relationships. It's hard trying to juggle everything and raise a son. Without another parent, all of the work falls to me. I can't be there for him. As a parent, I've realised I have a responsibility and duty to him and to keep him safe, but I can't with everything going on. Not me, I was just his teacher. As teachers, when students leave our classrooms, they're no longer our responsibility. What the children choose to do in their own time is not my fault. It's not like I have any control over his behaviour when he's outside of school. But, journalist Henry Adams once said, a teacher affects eternity. You can never tell where his influence stops. Teachers have the power to change lives. Teacher workload study done by Jean Wilkinson found 48% of, of teachers found their workload unmanageable and 71% felt their workload affected the quality of their teaching. Knife crime increases dramatically when children are away from school during school holidays, so explain to me how I'm responsible. Not me, I'm just a rapper. I don't even know the point, so what's the matter? So what if I rap about violence, drugs and staying alive on the streets? Not my fault some little kid can defend himself properly. Yeah, rap music causes more drug and alcohol use as well as suicide in young teens. Our music is known to have the lowest life expectancy in artists. People say life imitates art. And yeah, that's true. Seeing the long list of lives that have been lost due to the industry. Legends like Biggie Smalls, Tupac, Pop Smoke, XXX Temptation. My tunes aren't heard just for the lyrics. The rhythm, the beat, the tempo, all of that too. Rappers like me get millions of streams these days. You don't see the millions of boys dying. Do we encourage by law? No, we just talk about it. Now tell me. Why am I involved? Me, I'm just a police officer. As a police officer, we're supposed to help children rehabilitate. However, children of a young age that are involved in the justice system are associated with poor outcomes, including a higher likelihood of reoffending during teenhood and offending into adulthood. As force is supposed to help reform people, but instead force them to act a certain way instead of actually helping them improve their livelihood. I couldn't help the kid anyway, he was too far gone. All I can do is bring him to justice. I'm a respected, honourable and elected politician. I can't be expected to help every child, but spending on youth services in England and Wales has been cut 70% in real terms since 2010, almost a billion pounds. Every Prime Minister since 2015 has promised to invest more in schools, but the reality is schools have been dealing with cuts for several years. Funding cuts are both reducing curriculum and extracurricular activities, leaving teenagers with nowhere to go but the streets. I have to turn a blind eye to one child who rebels. The village to raise a child. They're all products of our environment. We need to put systems and policies in place to support and protect the children of our society. The truth is, when incidents like these become the norm, we are collectively responsible.